Uh, my concern here is that I'm looking for a file that goes in my canals and is upright. You're okay you're and, about the uprighting part? And you know, I'm leaned in, which I don't know if the shape of my roots, I'm never going to get to be like this. There's my, what, mesial buckle, distal buckle, see how mm -hmm. it's not uprighted. And I was wondering if you could take a look at this is after I've expanded the Look at our radicular access. Yep. Okay. I've done SX and uh, X gates, both experimented with them both. And I'm curious what your thoughts are. Okay. Can I change your access? You can. Now, I'm going to brag about your access, and then I'm going to just do some little shit. Yeah. Because in life, it's always about just little things that make end up making a difference or drive you yeah. crazy by the time you get to cone fit. Yeah. So your access, I'll brag about what I love, if Phyllis looks down here and doesn't look deep, yeah. you have a marvelous outline pattern. Your walls are nice and flat. If I look and hold this really still, I can't really see everything because there's some stuff going on in here. Yeah. I'm a little, I could probably do a little bit here and a little bit here. I would like to take this back a little bit. And then I would like to shave this back there. Not all up here, just just this little job. So can we do that? Yeah, let's see it. But be, let's measure so, we, so we'll know what we did. So let me put, do what you did. Just throw this in. So it's a little off axis. I mean, it's not serious. You can't see the root clinically. Yeah. So you would say, based on the clinical crown, it's it's a little off axis, and it maybe well, should go like that. Yeah. That's what I was on the other hand, if you look at the root, it's yeah. kind of hard to argue that you're really off axis. Yeah. Which I can see on a radiograph. If my root's going like this, I should probably expect my file a to little, be going. A little, in, but, but you got the concept. I'm really talking about the ones that are coming out of your tooth, and they're like that. Yeah. I mean, you're going like, whoa. Okay. But let's still make it better. I need the, maybe this one or maybe even a different one. Let's see, is this skinny? skinny. No, Don't you love the detail there, Phil? Yes, maybe I'm, this one, maybe a different one. I'm constantly guessing. You know, I can use a little skinnier one. Okay. Now, I now here's a trick. Seat it and then pull it out. And you pull that out as far as you can, as long as it runs what? without flopping out? Yeah, centric. Oh, centric, yeah. Because if you extend it, now you kick the head of your handpiece yep. further away and now you get lines of sight. Yep. So, we're gonna do just a little job. Uh -huh. Now a lot of you guys are like this and you can't see <laughs> shit. So notice how little I move the tooth to start to see. Yep. That's doing this. That's just taking the patient's head and doing yeah. that a little bit. Okay. in there. Is that a little better for you? Yeah. Now I have some little lips and stuff and I'll show you. We'll just get rid of that. Then just tip the patient's head a little bit and let's just bust. Because what if there was a canal in the mid-mesial yeah. and we wouldn't have known the way it was. So I want you to really do this. And you can take the tip of your diamond. See this? Yeah. I'm not even cutting myself. Yeah. In other words, you're just going yeah. just like a piece of sandpaper. And it's interesting you mentioned that because I'm getting a catch in the mid-mesial there. Okay. And then so we can do that same concept here. And now I think I'm ready to go to work. So why don't we disarm, well, can, you, can I leave it and you'll be safe? Mm -hmm. Let's go with a GG3. I'm doing like this. So super low? Well, uh, so you're at 300? Well, I'm about five to 750, but what I want you to get is okay. the pressure. Yeah, what if it was at 1,000? Is that too well, high? They, 
A, a thousand is probably okay. I wouldn't yeah, quarrel okay. with you, but the faster you spin, they start to grab. Okay. And I want you to have total control. Okay. So now I'm going to clean that wall up. Yeah. See, that's a little, now we're more straight line. Didn't take high speed at all. You know, what is the deal here? Give me a new one. Okay. It didn't feel like it was cutting. Well, you know, sometimes if they don't break. They've been used for five five years? Yeah. Five yeah. years of seminars? Yeah, I've never oh, seen yeah, this is three. three. Yeah. <laughs> and the three is probably used a lot, you know? Oh, I'm mean, I using the word too late. Because the one is the most important one because that gets you to the two. Okay, I'll take a three. That is a three. Four. <laughs> I'll take a new three. A bigger three. Yeah. The bigger three. Here's the bigger three. This new three isn't as good as the other new three. <laughs> so start way up here and just yeah. lean on that outer wall. See how it's getting glassy? Yep. There's that little triangle right there. Take that a little bit more. Ramp that over a little bit more. See right in there? Yep. And I'll let you, you can do some of these yourself. Just up for all to make your smooth transition into the hole. Okay, so now we can take our tin and drop it in. I don't know, is it any better? Uh, a little bit, still leans. Lean. It's just the direction of the root, I think. There you go, that's up. It's definitely better. It's, it's, it's a little bit, it's not, I mean, you had really good access. That's like that's standing up straight. That's, that's standing up straight. Now, now, I think we could, I think it'll stand up even more as we shape down maybe four millimeters below the orifice. And if we kind of brush that out, well, give me an SX real quick. We could do it with an SX real quick. I think it's in here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what you've done, but I guess I am cutting towards the tips, so I should be careful. I should be careful. I don't know what work you have or haven't done. Anything, just oh, so I'm living right on the edge. I'm cutting dry. We're living recklessly, but we love it. <laughs> living vicariously. When you pull these out, you can always tell you're working. So I like this. It's pretty clean in the last two. A little bit of debris, but more up in there. But we that's not exactly the right tool for the moment. That's better. So you can see how access is so important. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to do this, but you have ultrasonics, but what you could do is just take a small ultrasonic and just go brr, 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 because you might have, you know, you said you thought you had something. Yeah. Well, like, there we go. Jesus. It's not that easy, is it? <laughs> I guess you told me, so I should have listened to you. You're yeah. a very smart man. I mean, I don't know, I'm down almost, You're already down. I'm down about, si see there's 16 millimeters of cutting flute, so if yeah. you look at the monitor, you can see the, the last flute, we're down about 14 or 15, right? Okay. So I'm down about 14 or 15, right? So I'm yeah. down about right in here. Now, a lot of times they'll curve off and join the MB yeah. or join the ML, but what I can do, where is that, uh, grab a six. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. We should be opening this up. We shouldn't try to go deep until we've opened it up, right? Yeah. But I mean, look at this. Look at that. Okay. So you might have a... mid me is the open firm. So this might be a good break, but I would play with that. Yeah. What about, can you just look at yeah. the other side? Is it C-shaped? You mean that, back in here? Yeah, is that all kind of connected in there? 
You know what I do clinically? I want you to clean and shape this optimally. Yeah. Clean and shape this optimally. And let your, let your irrigants uh, work in here. Okay. I mean, there's something there, right? Yeah. But, well, I'm not, sometimes, you know, you can put it in here and then pull it out over. That's what it was doing earlier, and there's a chunk of tissue in there. I think it's tissue. You so know what? It oh, like it's tissue. See, that? well, you can't see as well yeah. as I can because you're looking on a monitor. I'm looking so with a microscope. This connected. This is probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big sheath. It's a, it's a big sheath, and you still have a little tissue in here. Clean this. Clean this. Probably by the time you're through, even with water, you'll be able to run Clean. through there. Okay. But I think in your mesial, I think you do. You might have a mid mesial. Okay. But your mid mesial might join the MB yeah. or it might join the ML because if you cheat and flip your tooth over, which I encourage you to do frequently, yeah. because that's what you can't do clinically. But there's a lot to learn by just studying teeth. And I think one of the things that helped me as a as a teacher is by handling teeth all day long. Yeah. I'm looking at furcal side concavities. I'm being reminded that even straight roots hold complicated canals. I'm looking at, you know, I, I, yeah. I keep learning. So the lesson to be learned here on my access, which was my original question, is just kick it out a little bit more. Yeah. Use your gates or your X gates. Or your, yeah. It would have been a little tricky to do that with the SX because to get it how we wanted and cut where we wanted to cut, we were going to have to run this down maybe where it wasn't safe yet. Yeah. And we got a little indication of that because we could start to see debris on the apical flutes, yeah. which meant, oh, God, we're not cutting in the body of the file. We're cutting towards its tip, and that's yeah. more dangerous. Okay. So that's why I went to GGs if you were wondering why. Yeah. And remember, so yeah. SX has GG1, 2, 3, 4, right in the middle. Yeah. A good way to learn this is just think of your finger. Yeah. It's, separ it's separated into thirds because you've got two joints. Yep. This is SX. Never cut here. Don't cut. 2, 3, 4. Yeah. And then this doesn't really go below the orifice. For sure. Or maybe a little bit. It's just okay. that, well, the reason the flutes continue is so that the debris can keep being pulled up. Okay. Great. Thank you. Good. Good to talk, good to work together.